day, happy day. Thank you for joining on the mat. I am Berenice, your certified yoga teacher. And today, let's do some yoga to relieve your stress. We will go through calming yoga poses for beginners, but also for more advanced practitioners for about 10, 15 minutes. Are you ready? So let's unroll the mat. And starting in a standing posture, bringing yourself on your mat, feet hip distance apart, grounding your toes, your heels, engaging your lower body from the tips of your toes to your hips, drawing the navel in, gently bringing your sacrum towards the front of the room, rolling your shoulders front up towards your ears and back, bringing your shoulder blades together, opening your chest, Palms facing on the side, inhaling, bringing your palms together, opening your chest, extending your elbows if you can, and trying to have your arms at the level of your ears. You can close your eyes, tucking your chin slightly in to elongate your spine, and staying in palm tree pose for a couple of breaths to arrive in your practice today and also to bring your attention to your breath inhaling deep exhaling through the mouth or the nose inhaling bringing some fresh oxygen to your body exhale inhale and keep on breathing, maybe having some tingling in your fingers, maybe some discomfort, and that's totally okay. Staying with the sensations without judging. One last inhale. Exhale, gently bending your knees and bending forward, bringing your torso down, letting your shoulders upper back. Neck and head falling heavy towards the floor. You can have your hands on the floor or maybe higher up in the air. You can also hold your elbows side to side and gently balance from one side to the other. If you have lower back pain, I really invite you to bend your knees to release your lower back pain. Gently bringing your torso up and from your forward bending, coming on to all fours into your cat and cow. Spreading your fingers as wide as you can, rooting yourself on the ground, your knees aligned with your hips and your wrists with your shoulders. If you have wrist pain or carpal tunnel syndrome, you can place something under your hands or you can roll your mat for some more comfort. Saying that, bring your hips up, inhaling here, looking towards the sky, opening your chest, shoulder blades together. Exhaling, rounding your back, pressing the floor under your hands and your knees. Navel in, tucking your chin in. Doing some gentle cat and cows here. Inhaling, looking up, hips up. Exhaling, rounding your back down. Doing this a couple of times, energizing your spine. And at the same time, relieving your stress by bringing deeper exhalation. The longer the exhalations, the better the relaxation. Two more times. Exhaling deep. Inhaling. Stretching your spine and bringing energy into your whole body. Last one. Rounding your back. And coming into neutral. 
bringing your big toes together and here either bringing your knees together or apart you choose gently bringing your buttocks your sitting bones towards your heels walking your fingertips towards the front of your mat and extending your whole spine so really trying to bring your hips heavy on your heels keeping your sitting bones on your heels looking forward extending your spine your arms and when you're ready releasing your forehead on the floor releasing the shoulders the front of the shoulders falling heavy on the floor creating space for your abdomen relaxing your belly inhaling Exhaling, the hips sinking even more on the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Child's pose and inviting you to feel all the sensations in your body, the stretch in your upper body. You can either keep your arms in front of you extended or you can bring them back, palms towards your hips, facing towards the sky. You choose. In either case, letting your shoulders heavy, falling towards the floor. You can also roll your head from side to side, giving your forehead a gentle, massage, releasing the tensions, calming your gap pose. That is really helpful to release stress, anxiety and also fatigue. Inhale, bringing your palms towards your face, gently bringing yourself up again, your torso up, coming into bridge pose, so bringing yourself lying on the floor, <sighs> legs, knees bent, bringing your heels towards your buttocks, knees hip distance apart, grounding your feet, especially the toes, inhaling, Starting to lift your hips towards the sky. Exhaling, releasing. Bring your hips back down and rolling your back vertebra per vertebra on the floor. Inhale, lifting your hips again. Keeping your knees hip distance apart. Exhale, rolling your spine back down. Giving your back a gentle massage here, releasing the tensions in your back. Inhale, bring the hips up, bringing your shoulder blades together, hands interlocked behind your back, pressing your hands, your forearms on the floor, pressing your feet firmly grounded, elongating your neck by gently tucking your chin in. Firm, engage lower body from the tips of your toes to the head of your hips. Breathing. Inhale, opening up your chest, creating space. Exhale, release. Two more, inhale. Doing great here. Exhale. Last one, inhaling deep. Exhaling, releasing your hands, slowly bringing your hips back towards the floor. And feel free to bring your knees towards your chest, to hug them, and maybe to say hello to your knees, to balance from side to side. You can also keep your head on the floor. Moving on to our final relaxation posture, Shavasana, corpse pose. Legs fully extended on the floor, toes released on the side. Bringing your palms 
on your abdomen, releasing them on the side, palms facing up. Head in the center, you can close your eyes. Take a couple of nice deep breaths, relaxing your whole body. Inhaling from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. Exhaling from the crown of your head to your toes. Breathing consciously in your entire body. Feeling yourself grounded. Feeling yourself relaxed. Feeling the stress dissipating one breath at a time. When you're ready, bringing your knees towards your chest and rolling onto your favorite side. Arms behind you. Taking one breath on the side. At the exhalation, pressing your palm on the floor. Bringing yourself up into a comfortable sitting posture. You can bring your palms in front of your chest, in front of your heart, and if that feels good, bending your head and thanking yourself for practicing, for taking some time for yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today on the mat. I know how it feels to be stressed out, to suffer from anxiety. I've been there, so make sure to just take some breaks during the day and to breathe for a couple of times can really, really help when we're stuck in the fight or flight and overwhelmed with activities and doing one thing from another without stopping. Trust me, breathing is very, very important and essential. If you like this video, please click on like, subscribe, share, and let me know how you feel in the comments. I hope your stress and anxiety level are a bit lowered so keep on practicing take care of yourself and namaste as we say in yoga